Hi everybody, so that's it, the Isle of Wight Pearl behind us, venue one. We're now off of the Bryson Christmas Tree Festival and um, some of them are much smaller venues but um, some of you will have watched that first live stream and if you did please share. So we're off down the military road and we are heading now for Mortiston. So a bit more of our lovely coastline here. Even though it's a grey day, the sun is trying to squeeze through the clouds. But, uh, just heading down. Hi Janet. So we've done venue one of the 22nd Bryston Christmas Tree Festival, heading down the military road to come up to venue two, uh, which is Mottiston. Uh, and I think it's just the church in Mottiston. Oh, Two locations. Two, two locations right so okay well we'll find that we'll do these um, and they shouldn't take me too long to go around because they're smaller than the pole the pole I had a lot of trees in. I didn't count how many trees in the pole but there were quite a few trees there of course my own tree was in there as well so and for those of you watching this on the replay we're recording on Thursday the 6th of December 2018 anybody coming in on the live lovely to see you here live now and of course replay viewers are equally welcome so there are over 250 trees to get round to today so this I don't know how many I've knocked off that list <laughs> not sure how many we put well, actually somewhere in my bag I've got a program note to self get the program out and then I will have the answers won't I thank you for the love folks coming in um, fortunately it's not a wet day so I'm not going to get wet jumping in and out at the moment well no rain at the moment so long may that last so. So I hope everybody's getting on well with all their Christmas preparations. I do have my knitting in my bag so that if I should perchance to sit down and have a coffee, which is on the plan, hopefully, <laughs> then I might even get my knitting out as I have some knitting assignments too. But they're lovely views, Janet. They are absolutely lovely, which is why we want to show off the Isle of Wight. It's so beautiful. And on my Christmas tree, there's a picture at the top. There's a star at the top, and it's it's a it's a bit emoji of me with a megaphone shouting about the Isle of Wight. Um, so I thought that was quite appropriate. <laughs> See, look, it just is so lovely. So we've got some hedges there, but look, just so lovely here. Oh, we've got um, up here. Will we? No, I'm not. I'm leaving it to Jacqueline to drive because I, I forget which turns go where. <laughs> the Wilberforce Hall is one of the events, but that's further over, I think, isn't it? But look at all this, just beautiful. Jacqueline knows the routes better than I do, so I'm leaving it to her. <laughs> and of course, she is the driver. She is powering me. Go live, Granny is being powered. Has Seely Hall got anything in there or not? Who? Seely Hall. I don't this think is, this so. This is Seely no. Hall. Oh no, I don't think so. No. Just a Christmas tree. So what goes on in the Seely Hall? Oh, it's the local. It's, uh, uh, it's the local village hall. Oh right. Up in okay. Halston. And they have some lovely looks inside. Oh, right. um, they had an open studio there in the, um, oh, in the summer. I didn't know Just that existed. That's something new I've learned today. Mm. I don't think I've been along this road before. In all the years I've lived here. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> yes, yeah, it's so nice. Nice house Anybody for sale. Anybody want to buy a house? Look, a nice house for sale. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, but I think I'd rather be near in the town, especially as I don't have a car. Sometimes <laughs> might to be a bit, I don't care. A bit uh, tricky. If you've got a car, it's okay. But, uh, colours in the trees still. Some haven't got many leaves but all the different, I just love watching all the different shades of nature. So coming into, heading towards Mottiston. Mottiston Church is one of the venues it's a bit 
it's a bit up and down steps so I'll probably um, start the live stream once I'm in there. Oh, I know where I am. <laughs> I do know now where I am. Lovely country pub called The Sun Inn. I've been in there. I had, um, I had my dinner in there one day. Was it in there? Yes, I think it was in there. Oh, actually, oh, it's, no, I'm not sure. Yes, it might have been there. I've got, I'm confusing myself. You said there's another sun in, isn't there? Or is there? No, that is, what, is this Holmeston? Yes. Oh, no, that's the one I'm thinking of now. Just getting confused, like I do. Just, it's just a beautiful view coming down. Excellent. Oh, in the way. Of the church. One of Brilliant. The churches. Yes, because what it, last year I would have come in on the, on the shuttle bus and I'd have gone the other way into Brighton and then out to Mottiston. So this is just taking me a different way and a different view. So. so here we come, Mottiston. And wasn't this where um, that famous actor got married? Ben um, yes, what's he called? Benedict. Benedict Cumberbatch. That's it, yes, absolutely. Have I pronounced his um, name correctly? I don't know. Yes, I think so. Is this, yes. is this where it is? In this yes, church here? yes. Yes, and see, the shuttle bus stopped down the other side and I had to walk all the way round, but mm. actually, this is handy. <laughs> um, it says you come down here. Doesn't yes, it? yeah. Right. Yes, because it is easier to get in. Or did it mean? I don't know where it meant, but uh, we'll go down there and see. That might have been the entrance. I don't know. I think that might have been where it meant there. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think it is. There's me forgetting where I'm going. Oh, okay. Uh, no, it isn't. It's in. Is it through oh. the gate? Oh, probably. Oh, no, there's more steps that way. Yeah, now I can go up there. Is that? Yes. Yes. Okay, I'll just pull back. So this is Mottiston Church. So we're just parking up. Okay, folks, so heading on here. Sorry, I wasn't just organized. There we go. Look, welcome to Mottiston Church. This ancient churchyard is full of wildlife. Some of the grass is left uncut until late summer, which allows the meadow plants to flower and seed. Oops, excuse me, folks, I'm just going up some steps. Got to be careful that I don't fall. Hi, Emma. This is venue two of the Christmas Tree Festival. Let's see if I can. Oh, I don't know if I can get in this way. Oh, I don't seem to be able to get in. Let's go around here and see if there's another way in, folks. It's a bit windy. Oh.
Jacqueline, I'm not sure. I can't open the door. Ah, oh, hang on. Aha, I didn't try the door the first time. I have, yes, I didn't didn't try the handle. Sorry. That's all right, darling. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Wow. There you go. Thank you. That's all right. Hi, Emma. Yes, I am very well. So first tree. Oh, <laughs> gentleman just said he got married here. First tree is the lifeboats. What the R N L I back of the white branch. <laughs> there we go. So have some little trees. Let's push the door shut. Oops. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. And some some little yachts. I don't know if you can see the little little boats on there. And then we have the Wellow Village residence. And these look like oh cups of tea and cake. Bit of a <laughs> I think this is a my sort of tree. It's got sparkly cups and saucers. Just amazing. And a teapot. A teapot on the top of this tree. <laughs> There we go. We've got a very weak recording, folks, and um, hopefully it will last. Um, and so this one is the the, um, the the FYT bus, the community minibus service, and um, this West White minibus service. And it's got volunteers always needed. And what else does it say? First minibus on the road in December 2011. Lots and lots of different messages about the minibus. A lovely star on the top. And then St Mary's Primary School ride. So there were trees from people all over, from all over the island. We've got gingerbread men, we've got lots of sparkle and glitter. Um, I'm an ex-primary school teacher. We always had lots of sparkle and glitter this time of year. There we go. And this one is Mr Wally Owl, Awell and Friends. It's um, a Wild Bird Rescue, which is a self-funded non-profit organisation. There we go. So we have birds on this tree, obviously, to represent that. <laughs> and then we have the Freshwater Bay Golf Club. So there would be some golf balls, of course. And the lights look very much like golf balls on this one. And of course, we've got some decorations with golf tees on them. Lots of imagination going on. And I think the angel, I think that's a golf club in the angel's hand. It's very high up, I'm not quite sure, but it looks like it. There we go. And this one is the Holy Cross Roman Catholic Primary School in East Cows. And this has got lots of Christmas, this is a Christmas pudding tree. So it's got lots and lots of Christmas pudding all over it. So we've got felt Christmas puddings, we've got um, collage Christmas puddings, we've got bauble Christmas puddings, they've got cotton wool balls inside to make the um, the cream on the top. We've got pom-pom Christmas puddings, we've got little Christmas puddings made out of hessian here, um, and a, a circular representing a Christmas pudding. Lots of imagination folks. So much, and um, it's not too, it's not busy in here at the moment, which is great because it means I can get round fairly quickly. Because I'm hoping to do all the trees in one day this year. It took me three days last year, but I'm very lucky to have a lift. So this one is the Yarmouth Guides. So let's start at the top. Merry Christmas from Yarmouth Guides. There we go. And uh, they've made the letters. That they've made the letters with wool. I don't know if it's plastic, probably plastic canvas inside. I think maybe it's coal. <laughs> they are all amazing, Sue. So it's just wonderful, which is why I want to make sure that you see all 250 of them. Oops. Um, some very large Christmas baubles there. Beautiful, aren't they? Right, sorry, I'm going in and out the pews because they've put the trees all around the church. It's amazing. So here we are. This one is Love Russia, which is another charity based here on the Isle of Wight that helps orphans in Russia. There we go. And obviously they're doing a calendar. They've got an um, opportunity for you to donate as well. 
And then this one, let me see, I've got to look inside to see this one. This is a Hanson Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust Woodland Therapy. There we go, and look, representing the woodland. So the tree is actually made out of twigs and pieces from the wildlife. There we go. Excellent. And the next one is the Woodlands Mental Health Unit and they've painted lots of lovely petals down the bottom here. And I'm glad they've all got their names on them. It saves, in big bold letters, it saves me having to serve. So look, they've, they've done a lot of painting of petals. One says dream. They've got some funny faces on some of them. One says laugh and happy Christmas and gratitude. There we go. Lots and lots of lovely trees there. Now I'll just go around the other side. Whoops. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. So, this one is a National Trust Mottiston Garden and it's been made with um, branches. And I think these are just so lovely. Here we go. Look. There we go. And so we've got robins, a hessian robin, and some decorations, pine, pine curved, pine cone decorations. Sorry, getting a bit tongue tied there. And then this is the poetry tree. And there's a lot of beautiful flowers. The Chris, uh, it's the Christmas rose. So that's the poetry. And look, they've made their, their rose, Christmas roses out of white paper with wool. On the centre, very very clever, and lovely robin up on the top of their tree, and I don't know. I'll just see if we can see the poem. I'll just read the first bit. It said a rose by any other name would smell as sweet, and yet this is a hellebore that I find at my feet. No scent can I detect, but insects might in the cold winter air diverted from the fly. I'm not going to read it all now because I need to get on, but I. I don't know if you can see it there. It's very difficult because it's under the branches. There we go. Right. And then <clears throat> along the pews here, they've decorated with lovely garlands. And over this side, lovely stars and ribbons and bells. And more garlands over here. A little Christmas tree in the corner. Beautiful arrangement on the top there, under the stained glass window, and more garlands here. And, of course, the reason for the season, the nativity, um, which is what it's all about. And then another beautiful tree there. I think that's actually the tree for the church. And then let's see what else we have. Whoops, let's go this way. It's there's trees in every nook and every cranny. <laughs> there's a poem about that, isn't there? The wind blowing in my granny, but fortunately there's no wind blowing on me today. This is the Diabetes Centre. And there are lots of pictures, celebrities with diabetes on there. I don't know if I can get near enough. I'm behind a pew. Let's see if I can see. I don't know if I can. I can't see them closely enough to, to recognise who they are, folks. So, sorry about that. <clears throat> and the Bumblebee Conservation Trust. Look at this. There we are. So on this tree, there are bumblebees of all sorts. Look. Hopefully the bumblebees there. Look. That's just so fascinating. I hope the people coming round actually take time really to study the trees because they're so beautiful, so much work's gone into them. Um, I think when it's busy, they might not get the full effect, but hopefully we can share that with them. This is Spence Willard, one of our... Um, <sighs> the word's gone. Oh, they sell houses, estate agents. <laughs> and the words went right out of my head. That's what happens sometimes when you go by. So there we are. Um, I don't. I suppose the characters at the top who pe are perhaps the people who run the business. I'm not quite sure because I don't know who the people who actually run it are. But um, I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong. Right, I have 
to be very careful as I'm wiggling in and out because there's steps and things. Right, and now we have a, a smaller thinner tree. This is the Goldings Resource Centre. Um, and this tree is 99% recycled, made by the staff and clients at the Goldings Daycare Centre that runs five days a week with transport provided for a small fee. And they like recycling. So look, they've done a lot of recycling. Oh, actually, it's, I don't know if you can see, it's plastic bottles. That's so clever. That's really clever. They've they've recycled, they've obviously heated them to make them curl. That is really good. So, and the um not quite sure what the the, the tints tints was it's purple here. I'm not quite sure if that's a recycled bit or not, but that's amazing. It really is. Look, just home in again. Can you see it's made out of plastic, old plastic bottles? That is fantastic. Um, and this one is the pancreatic cancer cancer tree. There we go. Another beautifully decorated tree. Purpley. My sort of colour, but I love them all, whether they're purple or not. Here we have some busy look like a busy people being crocheting. Let's go around. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the Knit and Natter runners. So here we are, look. There we go, look at all those lovely stars on that tree. There we go, that's amazing. I'm enjoying my day. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying coming with me. <clears throat> And this is the Chessel Pottery Cafe. And in the Chessel Pottery Cafe, Cafe, there's a painting section and it looks like these baubles have all been painted there. So let's go and see, look home in. That one's got some stubble, look. <laughs> and there's the lady with glasses. And there's another one, look at them. Open daily, 10 till four. Oh, that's obviously the cafe and Chesil Pottery Cafe. So there we go, that's a Chesil Pottery. It's open every day, 10 till 4, and welcomes you with the delicious homemade cakes and lunches, brunches along with an excellent cup of coffee. Their decor tree is decorated with hand-painted baubles in both acrylic and glaze paints. Each member of our team had fun painting a self-portrait. Oh, right, okay. I must go to Chesil and see if I can find out who these people are. And these are fantastic examples of what can be achieved using the different paints. So yes, I must go round, <laughs> go round Chesil Pottery and see if I can match up who did which bauble. That'd be fun, wouldn't it? This is St Thomas of Canterbury Primary School, primary school in Newport or Carisbrook, I think it is. And they've got um, nativity scenes on here. And they've got hands. Um, oh, they've got little prayers. Dear God, please help the poor to have a great Christmas day and a happy day. Amen. And lots of children's prayers on there. That's lovely. Um, I am an ex-primary school teacher. I love these things. Actually, the, the topper has bent over, but never mind. This is the Scoliosis Society, sorry, the Scoliosis Association UK. And uh, <coughs> got some information there about all the research that they're doing. So it's another beautiful tree. And then let's go next door and come down the next tree. This is um, a thinner, taller tree. All tree, trees of all different shapes and sizes, and some made of wood and some made of all different materials. And this is the Rainbow Centre. Um, and I don't know, let's see. Enabling a greater independence. That's what it says there. So, um, and it's Ofsted Outstanding Early Years Provider 2015-16, it says on the brochure. I'm actually going to take one of those so I can learn more about it. Oh, and Happy Christmas, everyone, from the Modiston Church Mouse. We mustn't miss out the church mouse. And there we go. Another little tree there. And I think there's another one Whoops. just round there as well. I think those are trees. So um, I'm just going to turn the camera around. So that is venue two. Well, I don't think they're numbered, but it's the way we're going around, Jacqueline and I. Jacqueline's back there. Give us a wave, Jacqueline. <laughs> She's just sitting down waiting for me. So we're off to venue three now. But I finished this broadcast and I'll start again when I get back in the car. Bye for now.